Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of the Callisto Protocol. I'm worried that the direction we're going is the way we're actually supposed to be going. Ah, oh God! I thought there was something there. Jeez. That bit us right in the chest. Not so much from being in good health. Hmm. That's the indicator that we saw before, so... Yeah, let's, let's go back and investigate the other way. Nothing in the little side passage. But we had a choice of uh, which way to go uh, at the end of the last episode, left or right. And we went right because I thought that going left was going to take us forward in the plot. Now I'm thinking that that is not the case. And instead, we're going to get some health gel. Which, you know what, I'm immensely grateful for. And there's definitely no secrets or interactables in this bit, so I guess we're going to have to push on anyway. Still, a bit of extra health. Not going to say no. These areas that we're walking on are not uh, not possible to run on. Like every now and then, when we're out of the goop, we can. <laughs> you see that little scurry down the stairs, like doop, 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 doop. totally befitting a horror scene. Okay, our grip has recharged, so we'll just obliterate that with it. Can we climb over this? No. Nothing to get that way. That was relatively efficient. Bit more health gel as well. Grabbing one of those crawling teeth things and just throwing it into into the exploder seemed to be pretty effective. Remember to carry a light. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair reminder. We're not going to be able to go this way, so into the tight corridors it is. Definitely going to want the grip ready as soon as we can out of this. Okay, that worked. I wonder if we used that a bit early. This way, it says. So we'll check every other way first. Clearly this place has been in ill repair for a long time. You know what? Worth using a bullet on one of them just so it's done. Still got a bit of grip left. Three choices of directions. Straight on has a light. Video game design says lights should lead you there, but we've got lights to the left and lights to the right as well. So we'll start off with a left wall hug, I think. This area is horribly 
misty there is definitely a place for us to throw throw things into so we'll throw him into the wall throw him into the wall we are now out of grip But it all seems to be quiet. Can we get rid of these lights? Because they are just not not helpful the way they are. Oh, and we've got a chest here as well. So we'll get the chest in a moment. Once we're done looting the rest of the room. I suppose we, yeah, by attacking them, we do dim them slightly. Which is a little helpful. Okay, what's what's in the box? And we'll have a look to see if there's anything up above as well. Nice. Ooh, pristine decoder. A couple of battery packs. And some credits. Yeah, that's not somewhere to climb up and do things, so we don't need to worry about that. There's nothing to grab in there. I think we're just moving out of this section. Alright, just before we do, let's have a look at our inventory. Yeah, look at all that extra space we've got. Change back to the skunk gun. For a spot of variety. We will have a look in here. But if this looks like it's actually leading us forwards, we'll go the other route. Get the health gel. In fact, there might not actually be somewhere for us to go in here. That thing is creaking and grinding to all hell. I guess right is the correct direction then. The different coloured light is the one to follow. He's dead. Let's reload the skunk gun. We probably could have taken him entirely in melee. But seeing as we have the ammo, it's nice to mix it up now and then. We did spend money on the upgrades as well. wondering if it's worth us heading back in order to sell what we have. I'd expect the garage has probably got a fabrication station. Very robust looking airlock this one. slightly worrying. Let's keep the weapon out. Gone. Right, that one's gone. I 
is it? Just those two. But damn it, I wanted to put him on the wall. Here he comes. Oh, get off me. Okay. He's down as well. Yeah, I wanted to grab that canister down in there. This is locked. We can get in there by... Uh, opening it up, but I think we've got more to kill down here first. Yep, you. Oh, this time that. He's not going to stand up to much more. Oh, you can't dodge if they attack you from behind. We've sort of seen that before, but only when we've been already directly engaged in combat with something. Sure. Reload this. It is a relatively quick and easy way to take them out doing that. Credits. Where's the next one? It doesn't take much grip to be able to do that. So I think with our recharge where it is, we're in a pretty good place. Yeah, they they could be. Hold your horses, Danny. I'm going to loot the room. Right, so we came in there. Let's uh, walk around. Doing kind of a left left wall hug. We'll look to see if there's anything we can grab, anything we can use slash sell. Like this. That'll do quite nicely. I really hope that there is a fabrication station up in the office with her. Let's have a look at this snowplow thing. Kind of interesting. Don't see any interactables with it. So we'll have to leave that alone for now. Nothing on the shelves. Let's, uh, let's head on up and she see what she's got to say. Don't expect to see 
see you again. Hi. What was that? Huh? Did you left me out there to die? And you tried to kill me back on your ship. Guess that makes us even. Look, I don't know if you noticed, but things have kind of gone a shit out there. Hey, you don't have to like me, and I don't have to like you, but Elias was right. We don't stand a chance alone, but together we might just make it out of here alive. Maybe. Fine. If I can get that snowcap fixed, it'll get us to the hangar. You need to open the main gate. Control should be that way. All right. I know I can trust you. Here, take this. Ooh. Need it. I did say everywhere. she's got a better gun, so. Jacob, by the way. I know who you are. Right. Press one to quickly swap between equipped weapons. So that's the the one where we're control where we're controlling it. But have we actually just got two weapons on the go? Hmm. Well, let's have it equipped and see if we can learn anything about it. Like, is it better than our skunk gun? I'm not trusting much, if any, of this. Do you suppose the chances are she's just going to drive out without us? I don't think she will, because she gave us the weapon, but... I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as we hope. There's the gate control. Riot gun. Right, that's what it's called. We have another bit of info from Lieutenant Devon Wayne. Gatehouse complex was built to facilitate inmate transfer vehicles, snowcats, arriving from the hangar. Later made redundant once the tram system was completed, a dual access control unit has recently been installed to prevent unauthorised gate access. So many deceased guards and members of staff. Very dramatic push the button on this damn it looks like there's another control room across the way we'll need to activate both to open the gate security fail safe makes sense okay get over there we'll man the first switch try not to get yourself killed there's the fabrication plant that we wanted please make a selection okay we're gonna sell everything as always that pristine decoder is worth a whole bunch. Right, health injector, grip battery packs. The grips have been really great for us. You know what? All of this is going to go because we could afford one of the big upgrades for the grip. So we now have the riot gun, which is here. It's a, it's a proper shotgun, yeah. High capacity upgrade, explosive rounds. Hmm. We can't afford to swarm around, but I said we were going to go for the velocity upgrade. Oh, we can't quite afford it. We are just shy, right? We need a tiny, tiny bit more. If only I'd spent a bit less ammo. Give me something. That's not enough. That's only 10. I'm still going to sell it. Printing at your service. 
I mean, we could sell the shotgun, but... That's uh, not exactly what we're looking to do. So, right, we'll kill something and we'll come back. We'll kill something with the grip, and then we'll come back and use it to upgrade the grip. Just looking for any collectibles around here, but it doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, we're going through another airlock bit, so maybe we won't be able to come back. So maybe the ammo would have been better. Okay, we'll make it work. Hand cannon ammo. That might be enough. Right, decontaminate me. I want my upgrades. you wonder why the grip wouldn't come with these upgrades as standard because they're clearly very useful maybe not like the fatal velocity upgrade because if it's supposed to be used for prisoner suppression then limiting what it could do makes a lot of sense but certainly the, the energy short. and capacity upgrades yes just enough make it hit hard Ooh, baby. We are now officially poor. But our grip is going to do some real damage. We're already knocking limbs off things by throwing them back into, well, each other. Obstacles. This is going to give us a bit more flexibility with it. How about you? Let's uh, let's see what there is out here. Another Deacon Tam room. That's fine. As long as we don't end up with some nasties in here with us. Um, that's not what I expected. Did it think I moved backwards into the room again? Yes. Alright. Clearly, I'm good at airlocks. I love the indicated, like, counting up on the side. Oh, well, he's definitely dead. Looks like we've got a door over there. Just looking to see if there's any areas we can hop up to doesn't look like it I think it's just one way forwards the snow that's on us should melt soon this is taking a while I'm not sure whether I trust what's behind us 
Oh, wow. I am so happy we upgraded that. That was effective. I feel like maybe it would have been better if we threw it somewhere else, but... You know? I'm not going to complain over how it worked. Definitely not. As long as it doesn't stop us, like, getting credits and stuff from the mobs. Clearly there's things patrolling around in there. Can't see. I should be checking for any pickups on these uh, shelves as well as we go past. I can hear something patrolling around in there. Maybe it's just this guy. can't really do anything with him. We can climb up and over that. I'm wondering if we can pull that to another area as well. I don't think so. I think this is just an up and over. don't need to waste any grip on that guy. Honestly, I'm surprised that that did not let him out. 26 credits. We are not completely poor anymore. We're just mostly poor. Bit of ammo. I think we're going to have to push the button and deal with that chap. Got it. Hmm. I am honestly surprised. We can pop up this way. He's not accessible from this side, is he? No, he's not. And we can't grip him in there. Health injector. Probably going to be something for our return journey. In the meantime, we've got this power station to have a look around. I would not put the weapon away until I needed to. Like, all the time that we end up putting that away. I'm thinking that is a really bad idea to be doing that right now. Where's that sound coming from? It's 
clearly coming from in that. Let's loot the room first. That's going to end up getting turned on when we loosen things up. Sounds like something's jammed in that turbine. Yeah, it definitely does, but I'm going to grab all the pickups first before we go opening stuff up. I want to check the upper level as well. And then we've got that canister over there, which we can throw for explosives. Okay, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. That Aaron Tide Show. Where are you going? Not what I wanted. Okay. We ran out of grip at an inopportune moment. I need to be faster with my grip release. But we did get them all dealt with. got a bit more ammo from it. Okay, with our access code, I think it wants us to go up there, but this looked like it was usable. Hmm, maybe I misunderstood. Open it up, and then we go. I made it to the second control room. Morning, huh? Ready when you are. Sure, we'll just uh, loot everything in here and then push the button. There might not be anything to loot in here. Which would be a real shame if that's the case. Alright, well we've gone round what's here. Unit online. Let's uh sell the bits we have. Gotta start saving up for the next upgrades, which I think will probably be capacity or recharge. Yeah, it's the grip just recharged. So capacity is probably the next most useful one. Uh, let's push this and then we'll finish up for the episode. One, three, two, one. Okay, I'll pull the snow cat around. Meet you outside. Uh, you better. Okay. Well, this is a good point for us to finish this episode off. Thank you very much for coming along everyone i do hope you have enjoyed this as always if you have be sure to give a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise i'll see you next time for some more callisto protocol see you soon <laughs>